IELTS Academic Task 1. This video we're going to look at five different ways to describe numbers for the chart, for the pie chart, for the bar, bar chart, for the flow diagram, and um, if numbers are on there. So let's get started. Right then. So we can use numbers, we can use percentages, we can use phrases beginning with A, or we can use two types of phrases beginning with of. And let's just get straight to it. So this is chart one. And um, I'll go into these in a bit more detail. So if we're starting with numbers, obviously we just put the number right at the beginning. Okay, and that's fine. What a lot of students do is they use phrases like, um, as can be seen from the graph, or um, nevertheless, the numbers increased, blah, blah, blah. But what I try and teach is let's just get direct. Okay, let's put the numbers at the beginning and then this eases comprehension considerably rather than dancing around with, as can be clearly seen, I mean, these are necessary, but within limits. So the next one, using percentages. So 50% of all ice cream sold was chocolate flavored. That's fine as well, okay? The idea with the IELTS Academic Task 1 is to use some different, um, is to use a variety. We don't want it always to be just numbers as a percentage form. We want numbers as um, just as a pure form like this. We want numbers expressed as fractions as well. Okay, so here we could also say um, exactly a half of all ice cream sales were chocolate. Okay, or half of all ice cream sales were chocolate. So not only do we can we use percentages, we can use fractions as well. So the other way, or another way, is we start with A. A, minor, a minority choose to study French only at 23% based on the survey, or a large group chooses to study, or a large group choose to study English based on the survey, compromised 94%. Okay, so we sort of like say a section or a chunk. Okay, let's go on. We can use two types of phrases that begin with of. The first one taken from, okay, so of the data gathered, we can conclude that global warming effects will worsen every year. So taken from the data gathered, okay, we can just say of. The second way to use of is meaning out of, or out of the, okay, so of, let's just of the 196 nations in the world, 193 are members of the United Nations. Or here, of total ice cream sales, chocolate represents half of the total. Likewise, of total weekly ice cream sales, 33% uh, or a third is vanilla. So those are the two different ways we can use of. And likewise, we're going to just use probably this once, okay? We don't want to say of all the ice cream sold, half was chocolate. Of all the ice cream sold, a third um, was vanilla. That's not necessary, okay? So we got to use a variety. Now, the final tip is, um, that sorry the final tip is that to keep it consistent so we've got half of all cars sold in Yorkshire came from Germany while in Lancashire 33% of all cars sold originated from Japan can you see it's inconsistent with this and it's grammatically it's fine that's okay but a better version would be half of all cars sold in Yorkshire came from Germany while in Lancashire a third of all cars sold originated from Japan so we're keeping it with keeping it consistent by using written fractions instead of uh, mixing it up. 
okay so that's a quick tutorial thank you for watching my name is ben worthington and you can check out my online course at sentenceguide.com um, you can get your essays corrected at ieltswritingtask.net uh, 24 hours um, lots of feedback to help you improve and, or you can just go and get more tutorials and videos and materials from ieltspodcast.com okay all the best with your study and i hope it all goes well thank you for watching